Are you thinking of buying a home in Columbus, Ohio, but you're waiting for home prices to drop? Well, stay tuned because in today's video, I'm letting you in on a little secret of why waiting could cost you a ton of money in the future. Let's start off with the most obvious reason why waiting could cost you a ton of money, and that's affordability. Columbus, Ohio is one of the most affordable metropolitan areas to live in in the entire United States. But with the rapid development of Columbus, Ohio, with some of the biggest companies such as Intel, Wells Fargo, Google, Honda, and many more companies coming to the area, housing affordability could be jeopardized. Columbus, Ohio is already experiencing a supply and demand issue, meaning there are more buyers looking to purchase a home than there are for homes for sale. So with more people coming to the area, this could only get worse and housing affordability could be compromised. In addition to that, besides housing expenses, everyday living expenses in Columbus, Ohio are going to continue to get more expensive every single year as more people and more businesses come to the area. These include transportation, healthcare, groceries, cell phone, bills, anything that you can think of that you spend money on every single month these are going to get more expensive. So the city of Columbus, Ohio is only going to get more expensive. So waiting to buy a house, especially could cost you thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars, depending how long you wait. A good example of this was from 2020 to 2023, home prices skyrocketed, home appreciation was bananas. We saw home appreciation over 10% in some parts of Columbus, Ohio and the central Ohio area. I also see home prices not going that crazy, but in the future, I do see home prices appreciating three to 5% every single year here in Columbus, Ohio. So the same house that costs $500,000 today will be $600,000 in a few years. And if you wait even longer, it will only be more expensive. Before we get back into talking about why I think waiting to buy a house could be a costly mistake for you, I do have a free relocation guide. So if you're considering moving to Columbus, Ohio and want to learn from A through Z how to buy a house and how to relocate to Columbus, Ohio, you're going to want to download that in the description. One thing that I wanted to touch on with affordability is if you buy a house now as well before home prices go up, you are going to have equity in your home. A good example of this is buying a new construction home here in Columbus, Ohio. When a new construction builder releases homes, they sell in phases. So if they release 10 homes in phase one, let's just say that home is $300,000 for the first 10 people that purchase that home. After those 10 homes sell, the next phase, homes would jump by $25,000 to $50,000. So people that got in after the first 10 people, 10 to 20, they will be paying $25,000 to $50,000 more for the exact same house. As you can see, it gets more expensive as the phases go on. This is no different than resale. If you buy a home in 2024, that same home that costs $500,000 today will most likely be $100,000 more five years from now. So you're building in equity today by not waiting to buy a house in the future. Next, let's talk about the growing economy. Columbus, Ohio and Central Ohio is probably the fastest growing city in the United States. There are so many large corporations deciding to make Columbus, Ohio home and building their roots here for the long-term foreseeable future. Companies like I mentioned, Honda, Intel, Facebook, Google, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Nationwide Insurance, Cardinal Health, the list goes on and on of companies coming to the area. Fortune 500 companies, Fortune 1000 companies. These are companies that are bringing people that are going to demand a high salary paying jobs. So with that being said, these people are going to want to live in houses that are going to be nice and they are going to be able to enjoy with their families. So home prices are only going to get more expensive due to the lack of housing already into the area. You add into the mix a million people moving to the area over the next decade. Columbus, Ohio's housing is going to get relatively unaffordable in my opinion 
It's not relatively unaffordable in 2024, but I can see over the next few years, Columbus, Ohio, slowly starting to creep up on that list of more expensive places to live throughout the United States. The great thing about the Columbus, Ohio economy is that it's very diverse. Like I mentioned, we have a lot of major corporations here. In addition to that, we have a lot of different industries, including the healthcare, tech, small mom and pop, the restaurant business. There's just a wide variety of industries here in Columbus, Ohio. And there's also a good mix of small businesses, big businesses and entrepreneurs here in Columbus, Ohio, making the economy one of the more robust economies throughout the country. And that's why I think Columbus, Ohio is going to get less and less affordable every single year. Now, it may not ever get as expensive as these big metropolitan areas like Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, but it will slowly start to get more unaffordable the longer you wait to move to the area. Next, let's talk about home appreciation. This is the biggest reason why I think you may be priced out and you may not be able to afford a home if you wait to buy a home and home prices to drop. Home appreciation, here in Columbus, Ohio, home appreciation has been off the walls over the last few years in double digits in some parts. In addition to that, Columbus, Ohio historically has seen three to 5% appreciation year after year. In my opinion, this is not going to change anytime soon because like we mentioned, the growing economy, the lack of houses, and the growing population. All three of these reasons is why home appreciation, if you buy a home today, is a safe bet. Your home is going to appreciate right now in 2024, it's going to appreciate in 2025 and in 2026, especially if you buy in a good suburb, in a good school district, which I highly recommend. You do not wanna overpay for a house when you first buy it, but if you get the house at the right price, you're going to reap the rewards of home appreciation year after year if you buy a house. And when you go to sell it, it's in good condition, ready to sell. Lastly, let's talk about the investment potential here in Columbus, Ohio, because I think it's one of the best places you can invest and buy real estate in the entire country. Number one, because it's really affordable. Like we talked about, the average single family home is nationally cheaper than the rest of the United States. So you're getting homes at an affordable price right off the bat. In addition to that, the growth of the area, whether you decide to um, buy and hold long-term rental properties or you decide to flip or do Airbnbs, you're going to make money if you have a good strategy and you buy a good piece of property here in Columbus, Ohio. If you're looking for long-term rentals here in Columbus, Ohio, I highly suggest buying in areas that you know the school district's going to be good where you can demand higher rents because there are a lot of apartments here in Columbus, Ohio. So you're going to be competing with those higher end apartments as well. So you wanna make sure if you buy a rental here that it's in a good area, you do good rental work to the property so it's rental ready and you can charge a higher rental monthly premium. In addition to that, you're going to want to make sure that you have good property management in place. Whether you manage a property or you hire a property management company, or if you plan on buying properties here and living in a different state, people do that. If you wanna talk more about that, reach out to me directly. I'd love to walk you down that path. But if you're looking to fix and flip here in Columbus, Ohio, that's a great opportunity as well. Fixing and flipping is great as long as you get the property at the right price, you know your rehab budget, and you have a good realtor that can help you guide you down the process of how to sell a property. And finally, Airbnbs. We have Nationwide Children's Hospital and other hospitals and conventions here in Columbus, Ohio. So I think Airbnbs, as it's not my expertise, Airbnbs are a great way to make money here in Columbus, Ohio. So we have a ton of strategies if you're looking to invest. And like I mentioned, if you buy a property today, that property will appreciate over the years. So even if you decide to sell it in a few years, you will make your money. Columbus, Ohio is one of the more affordable places you could move to right now. But like I mentioned, Columbus, Ohio is going to continue to get more expensive. So waiting to buy a house could be a costly mistake. And I highly recommend you do not do that. 
If you plan on moving to Columbus, Ohio, or you want to invest in Columbus, Ohio, I'm going to have a free relocation guide in the description. I'm also a local realtor here in the area. So if you're looking to buy a house, reach out to me. I answer every single phone call, text, and email. Thank you guys so much.